And you know what? We're going to win. Yeah. We're going to win even if I have to go into the auditorium and personally jerk off every guy in the audience. That's a lot of jerking. And we only have 10 minutes to present, so. So? We're fucked, aren't we? Yeah, even if he's jerking two at a time, there are, what, 800 guys in that room, so that's 400 times whatever the mean jerk time is? The what? Mean jerk time. I mean, it doesn't matter, but hypothetically, time is equal to 400 total jerks at a two-dick rate. Unless Ehrlich jerks off four guys at a time, and then we can cut that in half. How would he do four guys? He's got two hands, so that's two dicks at a time, right? Look, you have two guys on either side with their dicks tip to tip, so you're going full length. Four, see? Oh. From the middle out, that does make sense. Like two shake weights. Yeah, so what we're trying to do, hypothetically, is minimize time, which is 800 dudes multiplied by mean jerk time divided by four dicks at a time. Of course, Ehrlich would have to pre-sort guys by height so that their dicks lined up. Not by height, technically. The measurement that we're looking for really is dick to floor. Call that D2F. Huh, oh my god. You know, if a guy's dick was long enough, he would be able to reach up or down to another guy with a different D2F. The longer the dick, the greater the D2F bridge. I would still be able to jerk it off in one smooth motion. I would just have to jerk it on an angle. So D2F sub 1 needs to equal D2F sub 2, and D2F sub 3 needs to equal D2F sub 4, where length L creates a complementary shaft angle. Call that theta D. Now, the orgasm oh, threshold oh as a function of lambda sub I'm i. such an idiot. Middle out. Middle out. Middle out. Oh, my and God. How can I just... Ah. Guys, does girth similarity affect Ehrlich's ability to jerk different dicks simultaneously? Shit. Yeah, I think it would. <laughs>